Hey YouTube, this is your own boy from Dot Four Online Coach of Fitness. I'm going to show you how gloves um, make you make make you have mistakes when wearing them when you are training in martial arts out in the real world. Well, most of all, your thumb would be like like up here when I'm wearing a glove. I mean, it don't go all the way down, like how it's supposed to be, like this. When making a fist, when making a fist, it's basically bending your fingers like this, bring them down to your knuckles tight, and then, and then um, your thumb over your all the way down over your first three fingers knuckles. And well, that's without the glove. But with the glove on, you'll be hitting it with your thumb mostly. I was noticing it with my left um, a lot when I was hitting bare knuckle on the punching bag. But um, yeah, I mean, it was just hitting bam, bam on the tip of my thumb. And, and I kept on trying to correct myself on it. So I'm gonna try to go back to my old roots on how I started training on the punching bag, start hitting it bare knuckle because it's not really that hard to hit the punching bag bare knuckle. Um, so basically, um, that was my problem the other night when I was yesterday, actually last night when I was training downstairs, and I was like doing a, a jab. And then I went into like a roundhouse. When I was doing that jab, I was like kind of like punching like this, and I knew that wasn't the right way, the right way to throw the punch. So when I done that, I was, I, when I when I saw that, I corrected myself really, really, really quick. Because I figured that's another thing I like to do too. You know, when I'm making YouTube videos for you guys. You know, I watch the video, and I watch it for 30, you know, 30 minutes, you know, to kind of correct myself on what I'm doing wrong, and, the, you know, in the video, or, um, I'll end up, um, studying myself, you know, or, okay, this is what I need to work on, you know, improving, and, you know, make notes, you know, I'll have a little note. I'll have a little notebook and stuff, and I'll make notes on what I need to improve on for the next, for like the next video that I do. And then I would basically just, you know, work on out of my notes on what I need to work on, and until I get improved. Like let's say if I'm dropping my hands too low, you know, I'll say, okay, I need to start working the speed bag more. That way, I gotta have my hands more up when punching. Um, more like this when punching. Instead of more like this. Karate cut people stand like this most of the time. Or, no, actually, it's Taekwondo, they stand more like this all the time. Um, karate people, they stand more like this. Boxers, you know, they kind of stand more like this. So, it, it, it it varies. Uh, Muay Thai stands more like more like this. Um, like ninjutsu, ninjutsu or Shaolin, however you want to say it, they stand more. They can stand more like this. Um, Crane and old system. But it, it varies, you know. I mean, I train myself, so it's kind of hard, you know, to find good coaches online to, you know, teach you something different when you're learning something different all the time. So that's the reason why I read out books, you know, to kind of, okay. 
I need to read on a technique, learn something different from that technique. If what well, figure out what I need to improve on. So I read up a book and learn on it. Okay, this is how it's done. And I'll get up and train in it, you know, for that night. And then, um, but yeah. And so, there you have it. That's the reason why I just want to say something about went in with a boxing glove on. Hold on, let me, let me show you the sample. See, boxing gloves, um, when wearing them, you can't really like have your thumb down all the way. You can kind of like put it halfway up over the thing on the pads. Um, but that's the only thing I don't want to hear about wearing gloves that much because you it always makes you do wrong corrections. But it's a good way to protect your hands when punching a bag. So, or a tree, you know, if you want to, you know, toughen your hands, you know, you, you know, you can punch a tree with gloves on. Or without, you know, if you want to be a man, but I'm not that strong. <laughs> I've done that a few times to see if I can do it. And I thought I was going to break my hand when doing it. So, I learned my lesson on that. Um, I know I do have a hard head. Um, a long time ago, I was driving a three-door. My head hit the the fence post, and I bounced off the brick wall on the fence post, landed on the, back on the three-wheeler, standing up, sitting upright, just perfect. It's like how I didn't even jump up off out of the seat, and my buddy was like, "Dude, man, you're." You're bleeding. And I'm like, no, I'm not. So, I, I, I mean, I saw a little blood dripping down, and my, I don't like, I felt it, and I was just like, <laughs> I said, yeah, you're right. He's like, are you hurt? I said, no. I said, I'm not hurt. And he, and you need to go to the emergency room. I was like, no, I'm, I'm fine. And he was like, okay. So we went back to the house, got bandaged up, and it's like, dude, he was going at least like 50 mile an hour on, the gravel, on that gravel road with that three wheeler. And you went flying off head first. He's like, I don't know how the heck. He landed just right and bounced right off and lived. And I'm telling, I'm telling you, it, it's a true story. I mean, it was like, boom. I mean, I was like, I was like, jumping on like a diver in mid-air. And going like, kind of like, here's my head right here. I'm going like this, and here's the fence post. And then here's my feet. I guess like after I hit my head on the fence post, I kind of reacted a little bit more. Because what I did, I kind of went boom before I landed. Because I went, so hitting head, head top first. I remember that's how a concussion can really hit, get when you know how to use your body of momentum to not get hurt that bad. You know, it gets just adjusts a little bit. And that's what I learned from boxing. But to just this, you know, where people can't get in to like we're not gonna choke you or um get in to uppercut you in the chin. But that's what I use the tactic when I hit that prevent to avoid conflict and on my head. So that's what saved me. He's like, dude, he's like, you're like a shallow warrior or something. And that's what my friend was like. And and he's like, that was badass. <laughs> and so he uh, he had a party that night. And I stayed for the party and everything. And so he, uh, 
and there was a bunch of girls, and I was saying, man, what happened to your head? And so I was like, telling them the story and everything, they're like, uh, -uh. I said, ask my buddy Al, he'll tell you. And, mm, Al, he, Alex, uh, well, this one, Alex, I trained with, this was a different Alex, he was, he was a white dude, he was about my height, long hair, beard like me almost, but, um, he, uh, he told them girls, and so it was kind of shocked on how I kind of reacted myself like that, and so they hung out with me most of the night because they knew of my ability on what I could do, but it was just it was just amazed on how well I survived that that clip that crash, and. But if I would have been wrong on that, if I would have been wrong on that, I mean, I would have, I would have been not here today. And I mean, I, I mean, but that was just by luck. So there you have it. Um, you know, you can't use martial art tactics, you know, to save your life. You know, if you feel like you're in a bad situation, you know, if you feel like, you know, if you're going to be in a crash, you know, or if you're doing something, riding a horse, you know, if you fall, if you fall back, you know, you can use jiu-jitsu fallbacks, you know, kickbacks, you know, to save yourself. I do practice that, but I don't like to do it because it's too, too rough on, on my back. I mean, because it's too rough on um, my rods in the back, so I don't really do it a whole lot, but... You know, I practice it some. I mean, I don't do a whole lot of on the whole before, but I do it on the mats downstairs off camera. But um, it's just um, I'm more of a stand up, more of a stand up fighter than a ground grappler. I can do grappling, but when it comes to fighting but it's just I can't know the moves but I can get up out of them really really quick and once I do and if I can still control your while you're down I can move out of the way like you know keep my hand down you know move out of the way and kind of like do a strike with my hands well um well, uh, if you're wrestling, trying to wrestle with me, I did that with one. I did that with one guy, and I had he wanted to t he wanted to test me, and he wanted to test me. So I had these on, and he said, "Put these on and put these gloves on," and he says, "That way you won't hurt me that bad." I'm like, "Okay," so I put the gloves on. I mean, he was. He was like a tall dude, and um, he was probably about, I want to say 6'1", yeah, 6'1", six 6'2", six something like that, uh, big, tall, heavy muscles, nothing, you know, nothing but strength on him, um, but he didn't, I mean, he had the agility in wrestling, and I'll tell you what, and he was pretty quick at it too, and and when he, me and him was sparring, he said, where's your Taekwondo at? Where's your karate at? And I said, You're use, I'm using it. And he said, you're using boxing. And I don't want to know. I said, this is martial art. I said, with gloves on, you know, I can't use my other weapons in my training. I said, otherwise, if I didn't have these on, I'm going by the rules. And so... So that's that's the only fair game, but he was wanting me to do the elbowing and the, the knee and the stuff on. I won't to do all that because I don't want him with his wife, you know, laughing at him, you know, throughout the whole night, even though she did, because you know, he was like, "Seth, beat your ass," you know. But it it was all fun and games. It was his doing. Um, 
But we had a blast and we knuckled each other after it. And he's like, man, you're a, he's like, he told me, man, you're a flip motherfucker. <laughs> and I said, uh, us younger, uh, us smaller people and younger people, we have the advantage over the taller people because we're your taller guys. We can move in quick. You know, we can move, move around, but we may not have that much power and our speed and our techniques, but we can get in on the inside really quick and get out and, you know, move around and in a way that, um, in a way that you can uh, basically end up winning the fight situation, and that's what I did. And his wife asked me, what was that? And he was using and, and sparring my husband. And he, uh, she, I just told her, I said, it's the art of karate. And I said, it was just half of what you saw. And I said, if I didn't have the gloves on, I told her, I said, I could have showed her more. But you wanted me to have the gloves on, I couldn't go my full distance. So that was my only time that I actually experienced of going up against a wrestler to use a wrestler to just use my hands on to use my hands on in the actual fight. But it gave me a learning experience. So and that's, I guess that's what he was trying to teach me because he's like, you know, I'm going to teach you something. You know, he may know all that Kung Fu stuff, but, you know, all that Kung Fu stuff ain't going to really help you out in the real world if you don't know how to defend yourself against wrestling. And so I want to prove wrestling is better than Kung Fu. So, and I wasn't really studying Kung Fu. I was studying Karate and Taekwondo. So... I was learning a little Kung Fu conditioning um, at the time for Taekwondo, like doing fingertip push-ups, knuckle push-ups, everything else, and I just, as soon as I got older, I kind of quit doing all the fancy stuff. Uh, I mean, I still do them once in a while, I don't do them all the time, um, but I need to get back into them and get strong fingers again. Man. Um... But other than that, just train hard, train smart, stay well, stay safe, stay fit, stay motivated. You know, all the other things, you know, most YouTubers say on any platform they make. And all I gotta say is, is that, you know, when you train, it's, you know, be creative. You know, you don't really have to know martial arts. You don't even really have to know um, wrestling. You know, if you... Just watch it, you know, over and over and over. Yeah, you can learn and, you know, visualize it in your mind. And once you visualize it, you know, you can actually do it in real life. And you start getting up, you know, train your body to do the techniques. And that's what he did. And I was like, dude, no way. I said, you, you fought like actually one of those guys off WWE wrestling with me and just using their tactics and so I was just using boxing and on but I was using my karate defense just to be able to withstand his blows or his takedowns or um, just uh, going for the waistline with the power the power drive technique I don't know what, what it's really called. I call, I call it power drive. Um, but yeah, I mean, he done that and tried to do that maneuver on me and I figured out how to get out of that situation. That, that maneuver there, that's, whew. You don't want to get slammed by that one. I mean, I'll tell you what, that, that almost knocked the wind out of me when he did that on me, but I didn't, I just got right back up, started, started going at him again, and, but I hadn't seen him forever, 
And but yeah, you know, I wanna see him, you know, we still talk, we still talk on Facebook. And so yeah, I mean it's all good. And but it was just that he was just trying to teach me something that, you know, kung fu isn't everything. Work, you know, karate isn't everything. You know, I'm teaching you street smart fighting. And you pass with flying colors. <laughs> and he did his, he did, he, he did the little bow thing correctly, and I taught him how to do that. So how do you do that? We're in Oriental um, martial art battles. And I said, put your feet together like this. Stand up straight. Put your hands on your hips like this. Bow about 45 degree angle, back straight. Look at your opponent in the eyes. And then, then you raise up. And then we shoot each other's hand. So, see that was good sportsmanship there. So, yeah, it's just, it's just weird, you know, and when somebody thinks oh, one or two or three different systems is the best, you can always learn something from somebody that knows something different because learning is a newer opportunity to learn things. So that's the reason why, you know, I do the things I do, do the things I like, do the things I love doing in my videos for you guys. And that's the reason why I was kind of wanting to make a video about the boxing clubs right there. You know, those are my old ones that I always boxed people with when I first started out in boxing. And and I'm I'm knocked out so many people with these boxing clubs right here. And I probably can't remember how many fights. Um, especially if they would just want to say it, to challenge me to a boxing match. You know, I probably won about 10 fights in my life. And, and the other one was in high school, got jumped. And now it's self defense. And I used my karate on them. And I didn't use boxing. Now it, boxing is for the ring. It's grudge matches, you know, whatever, you know. If they don't know martial arts, I'll say hey, do boxing. And so I was boxing. I did it their way. So I, I, I adapt. So when it comes to fighting. So that's that's more of my way because when I when I train to fight, I train to adapt. So that's what you gotta do to be a martial artist is to learn to adapt to new things, to new ways to new ways of training to understand your opponent on what he's doing. You know, if you are understanding what he, he is doing, and you, you are one step ahead of him when you are moving around, you know, trying to counter. Shoulder grab, the headbutt. Look over his arm, elbow, elbow, headbutt. And then, hip throw. 
That's a little bit of his style of wrestling um, when he was doing it on me. Um, that's what I kind of learned from him was he was being more of the aggressor, trying to be more like football into it, more into like WWE style of fighting. And, and he taught me a little bit. So there you have it. Seven down four, sign on. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the bell. Sorry for making this video a little longer than the norm, but this is I just had to point that out. When you punch with the glove on, it makes you have bad habits when you punch in real life. Or if you're wanting to punch the bag, or no. So just make a few adjustments. Whether, whether you train with gloves on or what you train with off. So there you have it. It's the top four. Signing off. Peace. I'll see you in the next video.